All right, here's a look at what we're building today. We've got different logos, they're all scrolling. It's a marquee, you can't interact with it, uh, which is not what we want for these scrolling logo gardens usually. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you how to build it in just a couple minutes in Webflow with Swiper.js, so let's get started. Hey there, Webbay. Howdy, howdy, what's going on today? We are going to build an infinite marquee with Swiper.js. Now let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna drop a section in here. And inside of that section, I want a div. Let's give it a class of layout, minimum height of 100 viewport heights. And we're just gonna flex center everything on the left. So we're just getting started setting our set self up here. Now in Swiper, we know we need Swiper, Swiper wrapper, and then Swiper slides. So let's go ahead, drop a div in here. This is going to be our Swiper element. And let's give it a combo class of Swiper, uh, what do we call it? Swiper marquee, sure. And then let's drop another div in here. This is our Swiper wrapper class. These classes matter, remember. And then we're going to put in another div and call this uh, swiper slide, I think. Yeah, so, okay, basic structure is here. Let's go ahead and put some images in this thing. All right, so we've got some logo Ipsum stuff going on here. Let's grab this one, and just chuck it in our slide here. Now over here in the getting started docs, we're gonna go ahead and grab our CSS and our JavaScript. So Swiper is version 11 right now, we can see that here. So let's grab this link tag. I'm going to create an embed and just drop that link tag in there and the styles will actually apply. So we see, saw some stuff happen here. I'm gonna drag this up and you can see that some styles, if I look at like Swiper wrapper, it's got flex set here and a couple other things. If you wanna know exactly what code is being applied, then we just visit this URL right here. Now this is minified, so it's gonna be hard to make sense of it all, but let's just get rid of that dot min and dot CSS. So this is the Swiper CSS that is shipping that's being applied inside of the Webflow designer there. And I also wanna grab this script tag here. So I've got that. Okay, back over in our project, come on down to the before closing body tag and we'll load Swiper right there. Now, okay, let's go ahead. We want multiple slides, so I would just copy this. Notice there's some weird stuff going on when I copy it, it like has width, but it's not showing and it doesn't quite know which is which. Now, if I go ahead and inspect what's going on here, let's grab one of our swiper slide elements. How about uh, this one with this class? And we see it has a width set to 100%, and when I hover, it does look like it's going a bit too wide. So I'm just gonna change this to like 12 rem, and we can see now that we are seeing stuff. So let's put it back on 100%, back to whatever the default was, and we'll grab our swiper slide class here. And under width, we will just go ahead and apply a custom width of 12 rem, uh, and we'll give it an important flag to override whatever was there in the, uh, whatchamacallit, in the CSS that comes from Swiper. Okay, got it. Now, Swiper wrapper, okay, that's left aligned, Swiper left aligned, and our layout is left aligned. Where is, how come this is not aligning? So it looks like Swiper is centering it. So that's some CSS that is centering it there. Uh, margin left and margin right auto, I think, if we look. But let's go ahead and publish and see if we have a working slider yet. Actually, we won't have a working slider because I didn't actually write the code to make a slider happen. So let's do that. All right, so we're back in Webflow's code editor here. We're just gonna raw dog this one. So I've got opening and closing script tags and we're going to define our swiper object here and we're going to call the swiper constructor. So we're doing that by saying new swiper and then in these parentheses, we give it the options that it wants. Let me highlight that to show you. Okay, so we have that class swiper marquee. Remember that's the combo class that we put on swiper. And then we have our options object here where we're going to define how we want the slider to behave. All right, so we want slides per view to be auto. When we do that, Swiper will use the width that we defined in Webflow to set the width of the slides rather than using something like slides per view equal to four here or five. And I just like this because it makes it easier to do responsive. Um, you don't have to fumble with breakpoints and all that stuff here in the Swiper object, but you could do it that way too. All right, we're gonna set space between two 120 pixels. Swiper only takes pixel values here. They don't take RAM, unfortunately. Then we're going to set loop to true. This makes it an infinite marquee, essentially. We're gonna set our speed to 4,000. This is in milliseconds. Probably gonna be a little fast, but for debugging, I like to keep things fast and then slow it down when I actually ship the code. Allow touch move is false. This means that we can't interact with the stuff that's going on in the slider. And then autoplay. This is where we're going to make our infinite marquee happen. So we're setting a delay of one or zero here, just something super small. The speed is like, you know, four seconds and the autoplay is going to happen, but there's no delay. And disable on interaction is set to false as well. So that should be everything we need. Let's save. And now we'll go ahead and publish again and see if this is actually working. All right, on our page, we've got actually nothing happening. If I come to the console here, 
it says swiper loop warning. The number of slides is not enough for loop mode. It will be disabled or not function properly. So let's add some more slides and see if that fixes that. Or even if we came to a lower breakpoint, actually now it's working. It also has this weird kind of easing going on and that's definitely not something that we want. So actually let's troubleshoot that right here. So if I were to select our swiper, swiper wrapper here, we can see that this has a transition timing function set to this CSS variable, swiper wrapper transition timing function that came from our swiper CSS. If I click that, it doesn't quite know what it is here, but it turns out it's like an ease and we don't want an ease, we want a linear function. So let's go ahead and grab, uh, let's just go ahead and grab all of this and we'll redefine it in Webflow here. All right, so let's fix that little timing function. So we're going to create some style tags and then we're just gonna paste this in here. And the only thing we care about is our transition timing function. All right, and we just want to set this to be linear and we'll make that important too to make sure we override that swiper CSS. Uh, I think that's looking good here. So yes, we'll go ahead and save that. And now we also want to duplicate these slides a few more times, two, three, four, five. And now let's publish and see if we get a working slider here. Okay, and now we have an infinite marquee. It's not easing into all these different, um, it's not easing into each slide. It's going, it's very continuous. I can't interact with it. I could probably remove that with some CSS, but that's a topic for another day. And yeah, we've got a thing working. All we have to do now is change out the logos and really it's all we need. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap out some of these logos here so we have something else to look at. So let's go ahead and select swiper slide. And remember we set the width to 12 rem and we made that important so that we could override the swiper slide class in the CSS. Well, let's go ahead and do it a different way. Let's undo that. And we'll just go ahead and call this uh, logo slide as a combo class. And now we can say with 12 rem and we won't have to worry about overriding stuff, but we will in fact need to add this to every class here. So I'll do that. And now we can grab our swiper slide with the combo class and apply also what sort of flex layout we want to apply there too. And let's get swiper wrapper here and we'll center everything. All right, let's publish and see how this is looking. All right, and just like that, we've got an auto marquee scrolling logo garden uh, with swiper.js in just a few minutes. If you're working a lot with Swiper.js, well, I've done other videos on that too, especially I would recommend this live video I did where I show how to use Swiper.js in Webflow without the external CSS file that they ship. So basically what you do is you take everything that's in that CSS file and you put it right in Webflow so that we have full control over all of the styles, but it's important because Swiper.js needs that CSS to work. So this is a live demo where I just go over everything, any troubleshooting where I run into errors and things like that. I also would recommend this video, an advanced Swiper live build. So everything you need to get going with Swiper is in the YouTube channel.